Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Smart Exam Resources. In today's video, I shall explain to you the concept of diffusion of gases and one of the factors that affects the diffusion of gases. Now to explain this to you, I have made use of a simple experiment. As you can see on the screen, there is a tube that contains two cotton wools, one which is soaked in concentrated ammonia and the second that is soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid and there are rubber bungs that are tightly fitting into the two open ends of the tube that way the sealed tube is preventing the escape of any gases that are formed as a result of these chemicals being placed into the glass tube okay so now if this experiment was supposed to be conducted in a laboratory you would have found that there is a white colored ring that will be seen to form towards a side which has the cotton wool soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid and it is confirmed that this white ring is of ammonium chloride. So now there are two questions that we need to answer. One, why is the white colored ring of ammonium chloride formed in the test tube or in the tube secondly if the ring is formed then why has it formed towards the side which has the cotton wool soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid so we need to find answers to these two questions and for that I'm going to actually show you what kind of a process happens that leads to the formation of this white ring Now observe carefully what happens to the tube in some time. You can see something diffusing from the left and the right and that is leading to the formation of this white color ring of ammonium chloride. So now the question is, what are the two things that are seen to diffuse from the cotton wools? Well, from the cotton wool that is soaked in concentrated ammonia, there is, there is the ammonia gas that is being diffused. And from the cotton wool soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid, there is the hydrogen chloride gas that is seen to diffuse. And those two gases, they react when they meet. The gas molecules collide, they react, and then there is a formation of a compound called as ammonium chloride. Now, to tell you that when you conduct the experiment in a laboratory, you will not see anything diffusing. Nothing will be visible to you. But I have shown this to you so that you understand that there are two gases which are diffusing from the opposite end towards each other and that is resulting in the formation of this compound. Okay. Technically, both these gases are colorless gases. Right. Okay. So, that answers your first question as to what has led to the formation of this white ring of ammonium chloride. Now the second question still remains is why is the ring formed towards the cotton wool that is soaked in concentrated hydrochloric acid and not towards the other side where there is a cotton wool soaked in ammonia. Well, for this I will find out the mass of NH3 and the mass of HCl and how do I do that? I'm going to add all the ARs of nitrogen and hydrogen to get the MR of ammonia and that is 17 grams. Similarly calculating the MR of HCl by adding the ARs of hydrogen and chlorine I get as 36.5 grams. So obviously 36.5 grams is greater than 17 grams. That means HCl gas is much heavy as compared to ammonia gas and this explains as to why the ring is formed towards the cotton wool that is soaked in hydrogen chloride, hydrochloric acid and not the cotton wool that is soaked in concentrated ammonia. Okay, so that means that the heavier the gas is, the more time is going to take to diffuse. Okay, so longer it's going to take to diffuse. So lighter gases will diffuse faster and therefore they'll be able to cover larger distances in the 
same amount of time as compared to the heavier gases so that means we have now understood what is the factor that is affect, affecting the diffusion of the gases so the factor that affects the diffusion of the gases is the mass of the gases okay so definitely it means that those substances that are heavier will take a longer time to diffuse right so we can make a general conclusion that the molecular mass affects the rate of diffusion the greater the molecular mass the slower is the rate of diffusion and vice versa well so this is all in today's video on diffusion of gases and if you like watching my video please do subscribe to my channel thank you